Hello. I'm so glad you can join me today. If you're new to this channel, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. Today, I am making black pudding and sauce. Now, I made that before, but this is going to be a little bit different. I'm changing it up a little bit. And I also want to correct something that I said when I first made about putting this house. I was new to the video and so on, and I had said black putting this house was one of Barbados national dishes. Guys, so many people have, have written me or reprimanded me for saying that um, black putting this house is not Barbados national dish. It is um, cuckoo and flat fish. I, of course, know that. But you know what? I just feel like black pudding and sauce should be right up there with cuckoo and flying fish because that is something that was has gone back generations and it's something that is made every Saturday in Barbados. You can find somebody that make black pudding and sauce every Saturday. So that's why I said that, but I know it's not the national dish. Now, <clears throat> I made black pudding and sauce before. This is going to be a little different. Now, how is this going to be a little different? Before when I made it, I put the pudding in the oven and I baked the pudding. Today, I am going to steam the pudding. The sauce, I made it last time with pork. This time, I'm making it with chicken. Now, people in Barbados use chicken foot, chicken feet. I cannot use chicken feet. I don't even like the look of chicken feet. I call them chicken steppers. So I am not going to be doing chicken feet. I'm sorry about that, but I'm going to be doing chicken. Now, I am not doing chicken breast alone because I am the type of person that I don't like just chewing. I like meat with bone. I don't like to just chew on just, just the meat like that. So I'm not a breast person. I'm more like a leg and a tie and so on. So I bought a whole chicken. And what I did is I cleaned it. I cut it up and I seasoned it. And I am going to put it on to boil in a few minutes. And I'm going to show you exactly how I do all of that. But I am going to get started on making black pudding sauce again today. Okay. So I am going to follow the same recipe that I used the last time. Because listen, if something is good, why change it? That recipe came out very good. A lot of people tried it for the first time. Some people say to me that thank you, thank you, because they have never made it before and they weren't sure how to make it. How to make it. And by, by looking at that video, they were able to make it for the first time and they loved it. Some people grew up with their mother making it. Their mother is no longer here and they knew the steps, but they just couldn't remember. So the video became, the video was able to help them refresh their memories. Okay. So I was very happy for that. I was very happy for, um, it made me feel good. For the amount of response that I get of people who enjoyed it. So because it's good, I'm not changing it up. So it's basically we're going to follow the same steps. But everything else should remain the same. So I'm starting here on my scale. I went ahead and peeled my potatoes. But I have, as you can see, four pounds of potatoes. And this is what I used last time. I'm using the same amount of potatoes. So um, I have to cut these potatoes up. I have to cut these potatoes up so I'm gonna cut these potatoes up and then I have my food processor right here this guys is a godsend I love it because you don't have to grate her and cut up all your fingers because every time I grate her I always leave a piece of skin or some nails in my potato because that's what I did so but this graters it really fast and it is easy and I love it so I'm going to use this. So let me cut my potatoes up, put it in here, and I'm going to show you how I do it. So let me start. Now this is my potatoes. I just washed the potatoes and I cut them up. So now I'm going to put them in here, my food processor, and I will grind them up. This is going to save, this step saves so much time, guys. So much time of having. And I'm not going to put too much in at one time. But this makes life so much easier. OK, 
okay guys you see and any big pieces in there you can just take out let's see is that a big piece in there see it guys so much easier now the potatoes are all done here here it is guys this took about five minutes or less it did not take long at all in this food process it grind it really fast which is good so now what I'm gonna do is over here I have four scallions I have an onion and I have a pepper which I'm gonna be adding to this so I'm gonna go ahead and put it in here and grind that up as well to save some time so let me get started on that the last time guys I did a uh, some pepper I put like a quarter teaspoon of pepper in there which is not a lot of pepper and a lot of people ask me where's what happened why are you not putting in the pepper so I'm gonna put a little more than a quarter teaspoon because I know it really wasn't enough but sometimes I get afraid of putting too much pepper in especially I have someone in the house who's gonna eat it I know I like pepper so I'm afraid of putting too much pepper in so I cut this pepper in half I think I'm just going to use half. Hopefully this is not too much. And um, I'm going to make sure I take the seeds out. Because the, the heat is really being the seeds. So I took the, the... And I'm going to put half a pepper in there. And I'm going to grind this up as well and add it to that. So grind it up, guys. Nice and quickly see do this and this don't have to be an all-day thing you can do this and then go do all your other stuff that you got to do do it really quickly so now I'm gonna add all this to here in here all right guys I have to put my glasses on in order for me to see what I'm doing a little better but I have here one teaspoon of salt which I put in there I have one cup of sugar we're using the same recipe as we did before, guys. I have here some clove. Remember, I said clove is strong, so we're not going to use a lot of clove. So I'm going to use an eighth teaspoon of clove. Put this one here. I have some black pepper here. I'm going to use like um, half a teaspoon. Is this a half? A teaspoon of black pepper and I have some water I have a glass of water what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add my water to this to rinse it out so I can get all that stuff from in there you don't want to leave anything behind just add it in there Here we go. You're gonna mix everything up well together. Mix it well because you want to make sure that the sugar is mixed in well. have here um, some browning I'm going to add and remember we, we don't want to add too much browning so we can add a little bit at a time because we don't want it to be too dark we want to get more like a caramel color all right guys see it's getting close to that caramel color but I think I'm just gonna put ooh, I'm just gonna put just a tip more I think that's it that should be it okay I'm just gonna taste a little bit and this will tell me what I need to add more salt or more sugar or whatever I can taste the pepper nope I don't need to add anything else to it Because I add the same ingredients I did the last time I made it. 
You see, Mac Doc and Mom? This is 10 ways before. It is perfect. It don't need another thing. So this is what I'm going to do now, guys. Okay, guys. So now what I did is I have a bowl here because I'm going to steam this. And this bowl, I put some butter inside of it. So I'm going to put this in here. I don't know if all of this is going to hold in here. Let's see. Pull it out a little bit on the bottom, on the top. I'm going to say bottom. Let's move it out a little bit. And I have a cover for this. This is my steamer here. So I'm going to put this in here. Of course, it's not going to go all the way down. But it's good right there. But what I'm going to do is to make sure that around here the steam is so on doesn't escape. I'm going to put some foil. I'm going to put, I'm going to put some foil over it to keep the steam in. can just stay here and cook so as soon as this is all done I would show you so let's start now on our chicken here I have this is one whole chicken I cut up I took the skin off of it except for the, the wing of course you know you can never get that off but I, I cut it up and I and let my chicken boil Chicken doesn't take that long to cook, so this is not going to take that long. I also have some garlic here that I chopped up. I'm going to put that in there. And this is half an onion. I'm going to put that in there. You can stay here and let it boil until it cooks. I'm going to add a little bit of salt to it. And let it stay here and cook. And then once it's cooked, I'm going to take it out and add it to my pickled I'll show you how I do that in a minute okay guys so over here I have let me show you I'm gonna be using three cucumbers because the chicken that I have I have that one whole chicken that's not a lot of chicken so I'm not gonna be really making all that much so I'm using three cucumbers over here okay guys so over here I have let me show you I'm gonna be using three cucumbers because the chicken that I have I have that one whole chicken that's not a lot of chicken so I'm not gonna be really making all that much so I'm using three cucumbers over here I have one onion here I have ten limes it's one burst I have about nine limes in here I'm not sure I'm not gonna be using all of these limes but I don't know exactly how many I'm gonna be using so I'm, I just have these here washed just in case. I have now you can't have sauce, putting the sauce with a little slice of bread fruit on the side. So I have some bread fruit. I I don't think I'm gonna be using the whole thing. I'll use half of that. And I have my parsley, okay? And some salt. And this is all you need for your sauce. So whether you were doing pork, chicken, whatever you were doing, this is all that you need. So I'm gonna go ahead and peel my um, cucumbers so now I'm gonna grate them in here actually I'm gonna grate them here and then transfer over there so this is much easier to grate it right here on this side it goes much faster than you having to chop it up also gonna grate my on the same side I'm gonna grate my onion but guys, just remember your eyes. Now guys, I'm going to chop up. This is my parsley. I'm going to chop up my parsley. And this is the cucumber and onion. I'm going to add the parsley to that. You need a lot of parsley, guys. Okay, guys. So I have my onion in here. The parsley and the cucumber so now I'm gonna add this parsley to that 
I'm gonna squeeze some lime juice in here and guys you're gonna add your salt and your lime and you're gonna taste as you go along to see if you have enough lime or to see if you have enough salt okay so let me add that I have nine limes I'm sure I'm not gonna use all of them I'll tell you how many I use but um, you have enough just in case you need extra my grandmother used to drop this on the ground and roll it under her foot and and soften it up that way so I think half of that pepper is enough I took the seeds out just to make sure it was not that hot hopefully it's not and that's half half of um, pepper I actually use nine limes in here the last time I used I think five lemons and um, and I had more cucumbers and it was just five lemons that I needed here I use nine limes and the reason I use that many is because they didn't have a lot of juice inside of them so depends on where you are and the limes or lemons that you have may have more juice so you may need less than I do so that's what I'm saying um, it's gonna be different you have to taste it to be sure I'm gonna taste this one more time and I think that should be good one more time perfect don't need anything else to it now the chicken has finished cooking it's not a lot of chicken but this is good the finish has, the chicken has finished cooking so now I'm gonna add this I left it out a while to cool to come to room temperature so now I'm gonna add that to this you don't want to add it when it's hot you want to add it when it's cool so now I'm gonna mix this up in here and then just let it sit okay the black pudding is all done. The sauce is all finished over here. And we have some breadfruit and our black pudding. I have to explain something about the black pudding. Now, I put the pudding in the steamer to steam. I got a feeling it's this dish right here. I think it was too much in the dish. And it, the dish is deep. So what happened is it took a very long time in the steamer. I ended up taking some of it out of the pot and um, leaving some in the steamer. And I put this a little bit in the oven. This cooked faster, much faster in the oven than it would in the steamer. I don't know why it took that long. And I'm assuming this particular dish, because now think about it, back home and the old people made black pudding they didn't have ovens so they didn't bake them they steamed them but I know they put them in some water and they put in the steam it on top of the stove and I've steamed it before and I've come out really good before but this one I think it is this particular part and it was too deep and it was it was taking too long so as I said I took some of it out I steamed some of it and I put the rest in the oven and I finished it up that way so let me show you what I have I have my sauce came out here looks pretty good and this right here is the water that I boiled the um, chicken in so this is good stock I'm not gonna throw this away I'm gonna put a cover on this and I'm gonna put this in the freezer and then I want chicken stock to do something I'll just take this out I'll defrost it and I'll use that don't throw that away guys chicken stock usually you're going to the supermarket and you buy chicken stock that's in the box that have all kind of stuff to keep it now you you make your own okay so let me go ahead and taste this for you and see what it tastes like so I'm gonna take a little bit here of the black pudding looks good guys see it's nice and moist I have it on a plate there because it's a little hot. 
I don't want to put it on a counter. Now let me take a little bit of this sauce, this liquid, put all over that. I need a pickle. And then let's get a couple pieces of breadfruit. And here guys, you have your black pudding and sauce, but instead of pork, we have chicken and we have our breadfruit on the sides. Looks delicious. Let me try it for you and tell you. This just came out of the... This is good. It is good. Ooh, I just taste a little bit of pepper in my throat. But it's not too hot. It is just perfect. Let me try it with the chicken. And I'm going to put a little piece of bright fruit in there too. So I have all three, all piece of everything. So I have a little piece of everything right in this bite right here. Guys, when I tell you it's good, it is good. I follow the same recipe that I made before the black pudding exactly the same way. Only thing is, I try to steam it instead of so maybe just guys, it's much faster just put it in your oven and cook it inside the oven. If you have a big steamer. And you're making a smaller monkey, you want to put it on top of the stove, go ahead. But to me, it is fast. Mm. But to me, it's much faster in the oven. It tastes delicious. Delicious. Guys, go ahead and make some black pudding. If you don't like pork, use chicken. Make some for your family. They will enjoy it. Don't forget to like this channel. Give me a thumbs up if you like what you see. And share the channel guys so that other people who wants to make it will be able to make it I had fun making this for my family and I hope you have fun making some for your family as well until next time bye bye